Hello, this is Sadek, and I wanted to uh, do a little demonstration video to show some of the ways that you can modify the Shift Light app through um, editing the INI. &I. Um, I've sort of pre configured some of these. Um, and I'm not going to go through every single little detail, but hopefully, this will kind of give you the idea of how you would go about making some adjustments, making things look maybe a little bit different than it does uh, just by default. And then I'll show you kind of some of the things that I've done with it. Uh, so in the uh, Exotic Shift Light folder, you know, a set of course uh, apps, Python, Exotic Shift Light, there is uh, the settings I and I, which is up here. And I have that open over in this area and there's you know the default things that you can set up um, for the application like you know how big you want the dot to be or if you just want to use the PNGs instead of um, you know just the dot uh, if you want to show the green light for minimum and the yellow light for warning you can turn that on and off um, custom font font multiplier uh, learning mode is for you know running at the drag strip to do uh, you can see these things here I've got the shift points per gear and I did that by running this thing at the drag strip to try to figure out what optimum shift points were per gear uh, with the default gearing of the car so anyway um, this is my KTM Expo I and I entry here and I'll just show you what that looks like so we're going to go find the KTM Expo and I'm going to load that thing up on the drag strip. And this, this is sort of where the shift light started. It was the idea was just to have a dot that would appropriately change color to let you know. And the dots over here. So I'm actually going to put that on top of where the KTM would be telling me where to shift because I don't want the information from it conflicting with the data from my shift light app and this tractor doesn't actually work uh, in practice mode but I just use it for testing the application and showing off what it's doing at the drag strip drag strip loads really fast uh, faster than most tracks so it's good for testing and I use the drag strip to do the auto learning mode to set the, um, the shift points. So that's what that is. Just very simple. Just a dot. No font, no gearing. Nothing too crazy. See, show gear is zero. So there's no there's no gear indicator. Um, so now we're going to go with something similar, but just slightly different. We are using uh, the round lights in the PNG folder. So there's round lights, and it's very similar to the dot, uh, but just you know slightly nicer. Um, and then uh, I've set up the f you know the show gear. I didn't specify that, did I? Um, I'm actually going to put that in there. And I'm going to explicitly specify it at uh, this level in case I ever go back and change uh, the default. I could change the default to be zero, and then if it wasn't being uh, set at the car level, then that would change when I didn't want it to. So it's always good to specify that here explicitly when you want the gearing to be on for a certain car. All right, so we're gonna go find the BMW Group A. Let's load that thing up at the drag strip. And this is gonna look very similar. Um, 
it will be a dot. It will have the gearing text inside of it. <coughs> and it doesn't know where to put it immediately. I mean, so we can just sort of set this thing wherever we think might look right. Um, I'm just going to set that there. And you can see it's basically the same. Just, you know, there's the gear indicator in there. And, I mean, if you wanted it somewhere easier to spot, you know, you could set it up here, even. It's right there in your vision. So, you know, move it around. Um, you can change the PNGs uh, if you wanted to. Um, you could open these things up and change the color to be whatever specific color of green or yellow or red that you wanted. You know, if you don't like the color red I chose, you could make your own and set your own. And I think that the in the 458 gear indicator. Uh, there's a GIMP file in here that you can open up and I think it's got the appropriate layers to help you make some of these other um, PNGs. So that's something you can check out. I'm not going to get into that. I'm trying to keep this a little bit of an overview even though it's, it's going to drag on a little bit. Um, okay. So I'm going to exit this. And then next we're going to check out the M MX-5. Uh, and something to note here is uh, when you do the learning mode, the drag strip, it tells you what your maximum RPM is. And when I was testing the MX-5, I felt like the sixth gear wasn't faster uh, than fifth gear in racing. Like I, don't, I didn't ever want to shift to the sixth gear. I didn't want it to tell me to shift to the 6th gear, so I went ahead and set the um, gear 5 shift RPM to 6900, which is a higher value than the maximum RPM, which means I'm never going to hit it. And that way, um, it's never going to tell me to shift into 6th gear. And I'll just do a quick demonstration of what that looks like. And then, you know, this is using the basically, uh, this is all copied from the, the main settings at the top. But again, you know, it's good to duplicate that here under the vehicle if you want to make sure that, you know, you can go change the default stuff, but it doesn't affect your um, per car settings. All right, and I'm going to move that. Uh, I'm just going to put that on top of where the gear indicator would normally sit. And it's not a, you know, it doesn't perfectly blend in. We'll get the one that does better um, in a minute. But, you know, you're, you're, mostly, you're mostly just looking here at the horizon when you're driving. You're not looking at your gear indicator, so you just sort of see it in your peripheral vision mostly. So this will never tell me to shift into sixth because I don't want it to. Because if I shifted into sixth gear, I'd actually be going slower. At least that's what I think. I could be wrong. that next we're going to look at the AMG and this is um, what I use for the league 
you know, in the, in the NAGP racing leg, I use uh, the AMG. And I've done some modifications on this. And um, I'll explain some of my reasoning. Let's go ahead and open up that thing at the drag strip. And I'll I'll load up some of the other apps that I use um, to help it make a little more sense. So this is the big button. And mainly I made it this big to cover up the dash. And then I have a pair of apps that go along with it. This is my performance delta that I wrote and then this is the local time so it's just like it's 1037 here in Raleigh North Carolina uh, so then I would this is what it would look like move that down just a smidge so it's properly oriented there we go okay and then I can very easily read this gear number when I'm staring straight ahead at the horizon, you know, looking up here, I'm not looking at the gear indicator, but I can still read it uh, with no problems at all. So it's just kind of a benefit of having that gear be so large. I'm not going to run it out. There's no point. So, let's see. Exit. And then, um, just to see if I could, um, I kind of did the 458 Italia. I, I tried to mimic the dash as much as possible. and uh, I, it, It's okay. Um, let's take a look at that. 458 Italia. And we'll take that to the drag strip and we'll look at the uh and I just have this four fifty eight gear indicator folder in here, and that's where you know the gimp file is um and I've taken this thing to the drag strip and you can see these shift points um but that's all the magic is really with this uh in this four fifty eight gear indicator folder so let's go ahead and load that thing up. And then, you know, I took a screenshot of the dash. Um, and then sort of tried to whittle out the, um, this little area where the gear indicator is. And yeah, turn off these other apps. Turn that off and that off. And so I've really tried to blend this thing into the dash as much as possible. Um, and it's not its not necessarily a perfect fit. I've probably changed my uh, field of view setting since I made this. And of course that, you know, you'd have to sort of resize it to fit anytime you changed your FOV. So, but once you've kind of settled on a field of view that you like, um, then you could, you know, make some of these for specific cars. If, you know, you want to try to like really blend it into the dash. And I'm not necessarily good at the drag strip. I'm just trying to demonstrate the uh, what the app looks like. So it's pretty good. Probably could use a better font. Um, something that blends in more with that Ferrari logo, the Ferrari font, the numbers. I forgot what that thing is. So, that's it. Those are my examples. Um, the Asotic Shift Light is skinnable to some level, and um, you know you can create your own. PNGs, make your own folder full of images that you can then load behind, um, you know, as the colors, as the lights, if you will. 
Um, you just got to make sure you keep the file names the same as kind of like the file names that you've got in these other folders. Green light, gray light, purple light, red light, white light, yellow light. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. So I hope that helped explain um, some of how to use the skinning feature. And if you have questions, um, post up to the race department forums primarily, I think would be a good idea. Or um, you, know, you could post here. I mean, I'm sure I'll see it and I'll try to answer any questions you might have. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you racing.